Whenever God is seeking to restore a nation from any level of tragedy, he will always do it through a leader. When he wanted to take Israel out of Egypt, he chose Moses. When he wanted to take them into the promised land, he chose Joshua. When he wanted to bring deliverance to the world, he chose Jesus. God will always choose a leader to bring restoration to his people. Now let me say this, God will never choose two people to lead at the same time. Because anything with two heads is a monster. I know the church is going to get quiet now, but I'm on assignment. We have a leader. Whether you voted for him or not, his name is Dr. Hubert Menace. You might not like him as the leader. You might not believe in his views. You might not like his style. You might not even think he should be the leader. But that's what you think. The reality is, he is the leader. Turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor he's the leader. Y'all getting quiet already and I even didn't get started yet. He is the leader. The people chose him. And he is now in the seat. The tragedy came under his leadership. And so now at the end of the day, he is the one responsible for our direction. And where we go, boy's getting quiet already in here. But, 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 <laughs> but, but the problem in our country today is if we don't subscribe to the political party of the leader of that day, then we don't support the leader. So instead of uplifting our leader and building up our leader and encouraging our leader, Everybody is seeking to pull down our leader and criticize our leader and complain about our leader and fight against our leader and say all manner of evil against our leader. Whether you are FNM, PLP, DNA, I don't care. He is all of our leader. Now, let me, let, me, let me bring this in perspective. I believe some things could have been done differently. I believe that there were some missteps. But, but if the truth be told, none of us could have been fully prepared for what happened last week. I'm preaching that and you all showed it. But I'm going to preach it anyway because we, this ain't no time for politicking. we got too much people in our country. If they're not red, then they don't support red. I come to rebuke that spirit in the name of Jesus. Y'all sit down, please. Y'all sit down. Y'all sit down. Y'all, y'all sit down. Y'all sit down. Y'all getting me excited too, too, too early. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Nowhere in this region has ever experienced the people who are professionals said they never see it before so what make you think a man who is not a meteorologist would have all the answers and know everything what to do I'm gonna get in trouble but that's all right I'm not PLP and I'm not FNM I am a child of God and my assignment is to speak to the nation this morning and to bring this thing together because if we're going to be restored, God will do it through a leader. We ain't been this way before. Our country don't have the resources. I read something on the New York Times last night 
lambasting our country. But how our government wasn't there and, and the U.S. Coast Guards and all, that, and all of that might be true. But the reality is we have never been this way before. And if you've never been this way before, you are bound to make a mistake. Okay, let me go further. You are bound to make more mistakes than just one. When was the last time you prayed for our leader? Dr. Minnis need press. He's got thousands of people hanging in the ballots. He need press. And before he lose his mind, you all better stop pulling him down. We need to pray for our leader. He need the wisdom of God. And the very same day he lost his brother. Come on, we got to be humanitarian. We got to have some level of compassion inside of us. And in the midst of having to mourn, he had to dry his tears and address the nation. And all you could do is say, he ain't telling the truth. He holding this back and he holding that back. Did you give him your condolences? Did the nation give him condolences? Y'all, y'all, see, see, y'all, 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 listen, listen, let's bring this in perspective. He did not have time to mourn. But some of our people are heartless. And because we don't subscribe to the FNM, we will pull down. I come to deal with that spirit today. I didn't, I'm not getting paid for this broadcast. I'm not getting a political favor for this broadcast. As a matter of fact, we are paying for this broadcast because we need the nation to know the God we serve is able. Let me make this clear. This is not a political message people are dying we are faced with a national crisis and mr. prime minister I got a word for you too if you don't have all the answers get the opposition involved because there are some smart PLPs out there there are some brilliant citizens in our country who can help navigate you through these difficult times. The spirit of pride and the spirit of arrogance has no place in our country, Mr. Prime Minister. If we need help, ask for help. I feel like shouting right here. Somebody shout! Yo, sit down, please. This thing affecting all of us. So if someone in the other camp got what it needs to help us get out of this, then get that person out of the other camp. Because together we stand and divided we fall oh there's a clarion call calling out to our prime minister let's collab with everybody so the job can get done just in the time for red yellow or green this is the time for aquamarine call and black if you're a Bahamian and you're proud to be a Bahamian I don't I don't care about no F and M I don't care about no PRB what I care about aquamarine gold and black that's who I stand with that's who I stand for, and if you stand with that, open your mouth and shout!